Here we are. Hey guys, here's Tom. Hey, there's why I left hey, my iPod. <laughs> Wait, does that record? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It's not mine, but yes. <laughs> I'm impressed with that. Yes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Let's get to it. We've been told that you're directing the 100th episode. Correct. So what can you tell us about stepping behind the camera to direct the, you know, such a mild episode? Um, well, certainly that won't be a part of it for me. For me, like every time I direct, it's like, don't screw it up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like literally, it's like, look, really talented cast, really talented writers. Try to like serve it. Try and do as best you can to make it a good story. Every episode you do is a story, and this will be a story. And you just really want to do your best to find the way to tell the story the right well, the right way. I know that's a trite answer, and it's a kind of an obvious one, but it really is the truth. It's like it feels like an honor, it feels like a privilege to do any of them. And I'll tell you a little bit why, not to go on and on about this, but you know, back in the day when we tr attempted to do, and I've been doing this for a long time, as some of you have too. Like back when you tried to, it, it, it was very difficult to suspend the disbelief and nowadays we have the tools I think it's why these shows one of the reasons these shows are um, do well publicly is because the technology in many ways is caught up in the economics and the technology um, have merged in the sense that now we can you know when I the last one I directed it's like you know what I we had three kind of finales and I was like you know what you know what would be really good is if Grant went up and got the helicopter and you need a helicopter you need skyline. You need you know you know you need a, an alleyway. You need all these effects and the thing. And then you need to like paint in the stuff that you can't actually shoot. I can't have them run up the sky, but I got to get that shot. And nowadays I can do that shot. You know I can have the budget for it. And that used to be the domain of the big screen. You know like it just used to be. And now it's like it's astonishing. We did even a lot, every every year when you're directing and you're working with these people. It just gets, the cutting edge, it just gets better and better and better. The finishing, the, all the stuff that they're doing, it's just incredible. And so, but even like four years ago, we had a plane crash sequence on our show that was astonishingly visceral to me. I was just like, this is, this, everything, it's not like we, yeah, 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 like, oh, you could see the plane going into the, it, it looked, it was shot well, it looked good, and it was like, that is one of the reasons that these shows work, you know, the, you can actually, make that happen on on the small screen. And when you're directing and you get a chance to like play with these things, you know, it's like, it's not just you and me talking on, you know, just talking. We're like, we're talking on a bridge and the bridge is collapsing and the Dementors are coming to grab you. You know, it's just like, awesome. You know what I mean? And we can actually make that happen. It's pretty cool. Uh, Tom, can you tell us what is the new version of Harrison Wells that we're going to be seeing? So, you know, every time I do one, I try and fill some gaps that we might be missing. So Harry was like, uh, you know, we had I played Reverse Flash in the first season, so like that was the big villain. And I thought, you know, it'd be yeah. nice to have the antagonism every day. And Harry was that guy. He was an asshole. <laughs> Pardon my language. He was a bit of a jackass. Good guy ultimately, but he, you know, he he could, you know, Barry is so winning, and Cisco is so winning, and Caitlin is so winning, and you know, and Iris is so winning, and Joe is so winning. And then there's this guy who's like not, you know, and it gave them some good things to play. Then the second, the, the next season was like, well, you know, what we could do we could have a little more humor, and that was, you know, HR who. Harry thought was an idiot, and HR thought Harry was the greatest thing ever. And it was great to play that kind of enthusiasm, and then he ended up being heroic in his own right. And then this season, you know, I thought, we have a lot of things to, I don't know how much you know about the upcoming season, but we have a lot of things that we kind of have to like solve as opposed to one sort of big thing. And we thought, well, you know what? If we created this guy who's a, the Sherlock Holmes character, and then that's been done a thousand times, so my take on it was like, maybe if he's like Sherlock, you know, Sherlock was, you know, um, and maybe if he isn't, potentially, maybe he is and maybe he isn't the most upstanding, you know, um, maybe there are flaws and weaknesses, which always appeals to me. You know, one of the things about the Iron Man thing I thought was so great is like they were so flawed and they were weak and they were like, but they were so good and they elevated the material. So we're gonna, we can take a swing with this guy um, who maybe you can trust him and maybe you can't. I don't want to say too much, but it's going to be fun to play, I think. And he's going to come from a different earth? Yes. Yeah. They all come from different yeah. earths. You know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you lurking? Okay. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Thanks very much. Enjoy Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.